Hey everyone, this is Living Dead Gal and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Um, today you can see we are in Create a Sim, but this actually is not going to be a Create a Sim video. This is actually going to be sort of a how-to video. Um, and I am going to show you guys how you can organize your CC in CAS to show up in whatever order you would like. Okay, so to preface this, um, what I wanted to say is that as you can see, if we scroll just through all of the hair that I have in my game, I have a lot of CC. I am a huge fan of CC. I love it. Um, I collect it. I download it a lot. Um, so one of the issues when you have such a massive CC collection, which I have built really just over the last several years, um, is you can tend to get like a little bit overwhelmed when you're in CAS. Having all of these options is amazing, but it's really, really hard when you are trying to pick something out for your sim and like you just, you might even know of a hair that you wanna use or a dress that you wanna use. Um, but then when you're in Create a Sim and you pick something um, or you know what it is and you're looking to pick it, you can just become overwhelmed by the sheer amount of CC that you have. And even if you think you remember where it is, when you have such a massive collection like this, it can be really easy for things to get lost. The way that I have my CC organized is by creator. And that helps me because I can usually tell who a hair is by. So if I know of a hair I want to use and I'm like, hey, I know I want to use a hair by Sonia Sims, I very easily know that I can like come up here and find it within this collection of hair. If I want to use a hair by Stealthic Sims, um, I know that they're all here because I've ordered them here. Same with Aid. Um, and if I keep scrolling, you can see I have all of Avera's, all of Nightcrawler's. I have all of my hair by Redhead Sims grouped together. I have all of my hair by Ebonics grouped together. I'm really trying to kind of keep this level of organization and keep the hairs together by creator because that just makes it easier for me to find what I'm looking for. I also, you guys probably don't know this um, because if you've seen any of my videos, I'm usually um, mostly just using alpha hair, but I actually do have quite a collection of Maxis Match hair and I'm still working on adding more of that to my game, but I have it set up so that all of my Maxis Match hair actually shows up at the bottom down here. So all of these hairs by Enrique are down here and then I have all of these hairs by Ghost and then I have all of these hairs by Clumsy. And then we've got Aretha, um, Ridgeport, and A. Harris Brittany. This is something that has taken me a lot of work and a lot of time to do. It's very tedious, um, but it does help me significantly in the long run. So if you have the patience for it and you would like to do this, um, I am going to show you how you can do that. So I'm gonna pop out of cast really quickly. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna throw in a couple of brand new hairs. I'm gonna take most of this out and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and then what it looks like after we organize it. So I just like downloaded a couple of random hairs um, just to kind of show you how things look when you first put them in your game. So it's actually not too terrible right now um, because a lot of creators, they do set their um, display index, which is what I'm gonna be showing you to kind of keep their hairs together as much as possible. Um, so honestly, like this isn't too bad when you have a small collection of hair like this that I have right now, um, but it can get like messier when you add more and more to it. So for instance, uh, one of the things that's bothering me right here is I've got this Wing Sims hair but then I have a couple other by Ghost and then I have um, this hair by Go Amazons kind of separating the two wings hairs. Um, and also I've kind of got a mix now. We're going from alpha to some Maxis match hairs to alpha again, and then back to some Maxis match. So what I'm gonna wanna do is actually change the order of this. So again, if you're, you know, if you're keeping CC to a minimum and you have like maybe this amount of hairs, it's not that hard to sort through. But when you start to get into a bigger collection, like what I showed you earlier, it really does help to kind of be able to sort 
the order of how they're going to show. So what I am going to do is I'm going to show you guys how we can change where these show up in CAS based on a display index um, feature, which we're going to be doing with Sims 4 Studio. So we're going to pop over there real quick. So what you can see right now is that um, I've got my Sims 4 Studio open and I've also got my folder of hair files. Normally I merge my CC. You can still do this with merge CC. It's just that you'll be editing um, larger files of hair at a time. In this case, um, I am going to go with the individual files because that's actually easier for me to see what I'm working on. So if I click my projects, you'll want to make sure that you navigate to the folder that has the piece of CC that you'd like to edit. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I think what we're going to do is actually work from the bottom up. So I am actually going to look for the Maxis match hairs and make sure that I can put them towards the bottom since I tend to mostly use alpha hair. So I'm going to go with this hair. Let's see by which one is a little bit out of place. I think there was a hair by Go Amazon. So I'm going to click on the Go Amazon's hair and I'm going to like, it's going to open me up to this screen. This is just going to show me the details of the hair. Now, if I click on warehouse, um, what I will want to do is make sure it looks like it saved a filter from before for me. You might not actually see this. What you might want to do is type in cast part. And then that will give you a list of everything here that is in cast part. When you click on a swatch, that's when it will usually bring up this data section. And what you're going to want to do is type in a search for display index. So right now this has a display index of 130. If I go through all of the swatches, you can see that they all have that display index. So right now it's saying that the order that it should appear in cast is number 130. Now, you can get completely granular with this. You can go negative. You could do negative 1000 to try to get it up to the top as high as possible. Or you could do 1000 to try to get it lower towards the bottom. Um, as far as I know, <laughs> there are no limits. I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing this with you guys as what I've learned in how to organize my CC. Um, but what you can do is you can kind of decide where you want it to go. So what I would recommend you doing and what I typically do is I keep a spreadsheet. I know this sounds a little extra, but I'm just, you know, this is what I do to try to be organized. I keep a spreadsheet of the creators and the numbers that I like to use for their um, pieces of CC. So you don't have to do a number for like each individual piece. You, if you want to organize it by creator, you could literally just assign like maybe all of my shea butter hairs have the number 40 and maybe all of my A. Harris Brittany hairs have the number 45. And that should make it so that all of your shea butter hairs appear before your A. Harris Brittany hairs. So for Go Amazons, this is at number 130. I want to get this one down to the very bottom. So I'm going to kind of pick a number that is going to be closer to the bottom. So we're actually going to go kind of extreme with this and we're going to go with 900. Now the tedious part is I need to change this display index for every single swatch. So this, this does take a very long time to do. Um, as far as I know, there is not a faster workaround for it. So that is what I am going to do. You also can use decimal points. So if you, you know, let's say that I put a hair at 899 um, that I want to go before this one. And then this one is set at 900. Um, I could do like 899.5. You can even get really granular and do something like 899.55. Um, so you have a lot to work with. And I know that sounds really confusing, um, but once you get in here and you start working with it, that will actually help you a lot. So we are just going to finish up this hair here and I'm just changing the display index. And if you don't change it for every swatch, it's not going to work. Um, I really wish there was a way to batch edit the swatches, but from everything that I had researched when I first started doing this, um, there is not a way to do that. So I've now made all of the swatches for this 900. So I'm going to hit save. And then this one should theoretically appear at the very bottom of my list. So 
I'm going to pick out the next one that I want to go right before that. And let's see, I think I'm going to do the Roxy Hair by Ghost. So this one has a display index of 120. Again, I'm going to filter out cast parts so that I'm not changing any other data. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this one at 899. So that should put this one right above Go Amazons. A few moments later. Okay, so I just did that for all the swatches, so I'm going to save that one as well. Okay, so I'm going to... Now, sometimes you do end up, like, having to pop back into Create a Sim to kind of, like, reference where you are. So that's why it is really good to just make a spreadsheet of how you want to do this. But what we're going to do is pop in, and I'm going to show you how it's changed um, in CAS so far. So as you can see now, um, and I'm really kind of focusing on this bottom area here, um, we now have the ghost hair down here and the Go Amazons hair down here. So um, I am going to do a little bit more organizing because what I want is I want to bring the Okuri and the Clumsy Alien. I want to bring all of these Maxis Match hairs down to the bottom and I want to bring the Alpha to the top. So I'm going to keep working from the bottom up to get these hairs sorted between Alpha and Maxis Match. Again, you can sort this however you want, but this is just to give you an example. So um, I'm going to hop back over to Sims 4 Studio and make a few more changes. So now I'm going to go back in. I have actually made a list of the hairs that I need to move. So there is another one by Ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that one down. Let's see. Um, I believe it is this Hannah hair. Okay. So what I'm going to do is work from the bottom up. So I started with 900. Then we went to 899. I'm going to make this one 898. And I'm just going to do this for all of the hairs. So um, you can really order them however you want. It doesn't have to be like creator the way that I am doing. Um, you could simply do it by, um, you know, types of hairstyles if you would prefer to do it that way. Um, it's just the more um, in detail you get like that, the more you are going to have to kind of compare um, and look at the images and the thumbnails of the CC to make sure that you are in the right order. Um, and this does get a lot more complicated when you have a lot in bulk, which is why I personally prefer to just do it by creator. Um, and it also just looks really clean in the interface. Um, visually, it just provides cues for me that I think are more helpful. The next one that I'm going to do, so I'm going to take another creator. We're going to actually go with the hair that is by Sim Celebrity, the honeymoon hairstyle. And as you can see, so this one, you can actually see they have like a very complex display index. And part of this is because that's how they numerically keep their CC in the order that they would like it to be. So you can definitely be cognizant of that. And you can see there's just endless possibilities for how to do this. I am going to go ahead and make this one be 897 though, because that would be next on the list. And the reason I tend to work from the bottom up is that sometimes that is easier to build up because you will have a lot of hair from CC creators that is all kind of competing for like the top spot. Um, so a lot of them will have negative numbers or will have zero. And sometimes it's just easier to work from the bottom up because most of them aren't starting like this low on your list. And the beauty of this is if I do this Sim Celebrity hair at 897 um, and then I go in and grab, you know, let's say I get another hair by Ghost, I can always make that one be 897.9 so that it still comes after this and I can still keep them in order. Um, it is very helpful to write this stuff down as you're doing it because as I said, it can be tedious and this might not be something that everyone wants to do. Um, it's really more helpful when you have like larger collections, but it also is more work when you have a larger collection. So I'm going to take care of the rest of these off camera because I don't want you guys to have to just watch me typing in numbers. Um, and then I'm going to kind of show you the final product. Okay, so we are now back in cast. I've gone in and reorganized everything. So now, as you can see, I have it cleaned up so that all of my alpha hairs are at the top of my list and they are in order of creator. And then all of my Maxis match hairs are at the bottom of the list also in order by creator. Um, so you can see this again, um, this is such a small sampling that I'm showing you, but if you kind of reference my larger like full collection from the beginning of the video, you can really see how this helps you um, sort and organize your CC. So this might not be for everyone. It does take a lot of time and effort. Um, and I'm talking a lot, especially when you have a lot of CC. 
But, you know, if you are really, you know, into CAS and you really want to have your stuff organized, this is a good way to do it. Or even if you just want to not organize everything but just bring like your favorites to the very top of the list give them like a weight of like negative five thousand or something and they will show up at the top of your list here and again i just have mine filtered by custom content so that i can kind of see it clearly without it being kind of mixed in with the in-game hair um but you know whatever works out best for you i hope that this is helpful to you guys um and i hope that you know this makes sense i know it seems like complicated at first but what I would say is make a list of the you know pieces of CC that you have whether it's by creator or like the type that you want to have at the top and the bottoms of your list and just kind of write down what you want that number to be um, to or get them in a proper order um, and you know it can take a lot of time depending on how much you have but hopefully this is helpful um, if you guys like videos like this um, and you have anything else that you want to see um, please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions um, you can feel free to comment that I may not have all the answers because again I'm really not an expert this was just something I had wanted to do for myself and um, I thought it might be helpful to share with you all like just what I had found when I was researching how to do it um, so you can do this with literally any category that you have um, I used hair as an example here but I've done it with body presets I've done it with eyebrows I've done it with clothes um, so really any category and then the subcategories within you can like put in whatever order so I hope this was helpful um, um, again, you can leave me a comment if you have any questions, leave me a comment letting me know if you'd like to see more like this. Um, I do also want to do some more CC showcases in the future, so I will be doing some of those um, upcoming, but I really thought that it would be fun to kind of show how I do this uh, before I dive into actually going into all of my <laughs> CC collections. So um, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this and you are not already subscribed, please do so. Um, hit that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, or comment down below. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Honey, I'm a perfect day.